the purpose of this video is to so the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a particular gadget and this gadget is called apply template to all sheets and we're gonna see how to use that gadget to to go ahead and put a toolpath template on multiple sheets of a particular job um, so I'm gonna erase these two toolpaths that I have here and delete all and you see I have a job here with multiple sheets now these sheets were laid out using the vectric uh, nesting command uh, so the nesting command determined that it, it needed to take two sheets to cut these two rectangles into circles um, so since that has been determined I'm going to go to gadgets and say apply to template to all sheets I'm going to choose the post processor for the particular machine that I want to send uh, the code with or send the code to um, and then I choose a template file uh, this template file has already been chosen and it's called test template dot toolpath template and it automatically knows based on the layer name of the particular shapes or vectors it knows based on that layer name what what tool to use how fast to go and all the different parameters that go along with the tool path now with this option unchecked save toolpaths after calculating all it does is create the toolpaths and apply them to the particular shapes so it gives us a little result status report it says sheet one calculated okay sheet two it gives us the name of the file or the name of the toolpath that it made and it says calculated okay so we can click close and there we see a toolpath created for each sheet and if we use the check marks here we can one at a time just check this one okay it's made we can check that one for sheet two and it's made now we've got the active sheets here if we want sheet two to become active well there it is by double clicking it becomes active or not um, now I can manually here click this toolpath and say save okay so it's outputting all visible toolpaths um, I don't want to do that in this case because we're dealing with multiple sheets so I just want um, actually no that is what I want I'll put all visible toolpaths so we want to make only sheet one visible choose the process the post processor that we're going out with and save that toolpath right so we can save it manually okay sheet one profile dot tap and then uncheck this one check this one um, make sure sheet two is active and then save out that toolpath sheet two profile one dot tap okay and we can hit close and if we go to our folder we'll see that those two files just got created but it was kind of a manual process but once we verify that hey, everything is working right then we do the same thing we did earlier we go to gadgets apply template to all sheets select our template select our post processor and our output folder which is where the files are going to be saved and then we check save toolpaths after calculating and we click OK and then it not only created the uh, the file I mean created the toolpath <laughs> it also saved out a file and it called it sheet1.tap um, and evidently that's how this uh, does its naming when, when it's working automatically it you output it to a particular folder and it names it sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So the important thing here is that when you do a different job, that you put it into a different output folder. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it's going to overwrite 
your existing files. So we see here we've got 6.54 p.m. As the, as the time that it was modified. Well, it just became 6.55 p.m., right? So let's do that again. So I'm going to delete all these toolpaths. And we're going to use the tool the gadget again, okay? And we're going to go to that... Uh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Yeah, the files are still there. Okay, good. Uh, so I'm going to keep that same folder. And we're going to click OK because everything is set the same. Saved OK, it says. Okay, so we go to the folder and we look now it's 6.55 p.m. So without asking us any questions, it overwrote those old files. So here is the important thing. Whatever you do, put it in its own folder, right? So let's say this was a new and different job. Then what we would do is gadgets, apply template to all sheets, but then we would change this, okay? So we would call this 03, 04, you know, we name it whatever we want, and it's going to put that, put all those files in the folder. Um, and I don't know if it creates the folder or if it has to already exist. Let, let me, let's find that out by clicking OK. OK. So we see the folder has to already exist. OK. So that is something we need to know because otherwise it will come up and say failed. Right. So now we know. So we got to work with this gadget the way we got to play by its rules. <laughs> so we go into our folder and and we create a new folder organize. No, I'm sorry, it's not organize. It's right here. New folder. So click new folder and we give it a name. I personally like to name it by the year, the month, the day, and then you know, who knows, a job name or, or whatever. Job, some job, okay? That's not a rule, but it helps me sort through stuff because I can sort by date and know, know where I am. Not by the date it was modified, but by the date that I put on it when I named it. But that's just a personal preference. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking in that folder and now let's go to the gadget again, apply template to all sheets. And now we click the output folder button and it brings us a choice. Okay, so I'm going to choose the folder I just created. Click OK. And now everything else is still set. Save toolpaths after calculating. Click OK. Okay, now it everything looks right. We've got our two toolpaths that were created, one for each sheet. And then we look at the folder, and now it has the two files, sheet one and sheet two. So that's good. We've got, we've got that job ready. Okay. So those are some of the things that, that we need to know about the apply template to all sheets gadget. Um, there is more information on this on Vectrix website, but those are kind of some things and, you know, problems that, that I ran into, uh, things that we needed to know. So I hope this helps you as well. And we will come back to this and use it as a piece of our bigger puzzle in just a moment, uh, in a separate video actually. So cancel that. And I'm going to delete these. Delete all. And uh, we'll stop there for now.